Hey, uh, you're alright, guys. She's Nick, the beast in the northeast uh, with Clear Fitness. It's just a quick video. Um, I joined a new gym recently. I went to two or three gyms just to test them out. My membership at Nuffield ended. My old job ended. I had half price membership there because of my old job, lifetime training. Cheers, lifetime. Thanks. Um, so I decided to join a new gym. Um, I tested three gyms out. Pure Gym in the centre on Harborside. Uh, David Lloyd, which is where I currently, currently reside now. And um, Anytime Fitness in Clifton, which is really good. So just a quick review of David Lloyd so far. Um, for anyone thinking of joining there, anyone who has you know, preconceived ideas, it's too expensive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my opinion of it is, so far, it's a really nice gym. I pay, I don't have to start paying until the 1st of January, which is freaking sweet. I, I joined the middle of October. Um, <clears throat> So I've, I've got a few weeks free, so I'm, I'm milking that at the moment before I start my new job on the 3rd of November, which I'm also looking forward to. Um, it's, it, I pay eight, I'm going to be paying 87 quid a month for okay? and the first thing people will do is go, ah, oh, that's so expensive. And it is, it's very expensive. It works out to about three quid a day, I think. Um, but, it, you know, I mean, I train quite often. I train f three, four times a week, sometimes five times a week. Although I need to keep my recovery days, you know, I need to keep my recovery time there as well. Um, and, you know, the, the, the equipment's really good. It's a huge gym, the free weights area, which sometimes in gyms is lacking. And it's always hard to get on stuff. In this gym, I haven't struggled at all to get on a bench. And um, Smith Machine's always free. Even the busier times, you don't really struggle to get on anything. Although I do like to train in the morning. Um, Price, so price-wise it's expensive, but I think it's good value for money for me. I don't have a mortgage to pay. I don't have a girlfriend or anything at the moment. Um, I don't have a car or car insurance or any of that shite. I just pay my rent, a couple of bills, and then I have money for myself, which you know works for me at the moment. I like that. Um, so money-wise, I'm not too worried about it. 90 quid a month is quite expensive, but you know you get... You can have a really good resistance training session in there. It's got loads of cardio stuff. There's loads of mats everywhere. It's got an indoor pool, an outdoor heated pool. It's got a jacuzzi. So I was like in there the other day, like, hey. Um, so I'm loving the jacuzzi as well. Um, you know, it's a creature comfort shit. I don't need to be at a gym that's that much, but I want to be at a gym that's that much. When I'm training people, sometimes it's in the freezing cold or the rain. I walk miles to get there. I get in covered in mud, aching and tired and stuff. So if I want to train in luxury, um, which it is, then I'll train in luxury, you know. At the end of the day, I have goals, and whatever gym I'm training at, I'll still do the same stuff. You know, stuff like the squash course and all that's a bonus. So price-wise, expensive. If you've got a lot of overheads, if you're not on a higher wage, I would try another gym. Anytime fitness was really good, that was about 30 quid a month, great gym. So facilities... The facilities are great, resistance training machines are excellent, the free weights there's a lot. Um, there seems to be two or three different makes of machines in there. There are the generic ones that you've seen in a lot of gyms, then there are just more expensive, better ones as well. Um, the usual stuff, not everyone puts their weights back, whatever, that happens in every gym, I don't really give a shit about that. I put my weights back, because I don't like, it's embarrassing if someone comes up to you and says, can you put stuff back after you've used it. Um, or if you don't wipe the machines down, if you've got sweat all over them, someone will say, you know, it just makes you feel a bit guilty if someone's wiping your sweat and filth off a machine. So facilities, it's good. Um, opening hours, it's, I got the membership where I can go in until 11pm at night. So, again, I train in the morning. I think it opens like 6 in the morning or something. So I'll, I'll, when I start my new job, I'll be training before work. Um, on, on the weekend, maybe I'll have a session on the night or late at night. But the opening hours are okay. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't need to be a 24-hour gym. For the amount they charge for membership, they can open from 6 till 11 at night and they'll make a shitload of money. They will make fuckloads of money. They're regenerating at the moment, like 1.5 million regeneration or something. Um, so they're not short on money, so they don't have to open 24 hours. I think a lot of the budget gyms that open 24 hours, they charge a lot less, so they need to stretch that income out all the time basically 24 hours they need people coming in you know if there's someone that likes to train at 12 o'clock at night 
they're going to pay to join that gym and it's more money in their pockets, okay? Um, what else? Facilities, opening hours, price. Um, it's, it's a nice atmosphere in there anyway. It's a nice family gym. If you're someone that... I don't really... I don't see myself as a fluffy person. I don't really like too much fluffiness. Um, which is a contradiction because I'm at this gym. So if you're someone that likes hard training, you like hearing dudes grunting, like chalk and all that, doing mat, doing deadlifts and stuff like that, um, and just somewhere not as prissy and fluffy, then it's not the gym for you because um, it's a very fluffy gym. Um, again, location. If you if you live in BS3, Southfield, Benminster area, um, then it's probably better. I mean, it's, it's, I imagine people will come from all over Bristol to go there, but for me, I think it's a lot better than if I trekked up to Nuffield Health and Wellbeing Centre, which took me about 30 minutes to walk. Like I say, I can bike, bike to David Lloyd in 10 minutes or so. Um, they have loads of stuff, like they've got a cafe in there as well, which is nice. Um, they sell protein shakes in there, protein bars. I'm not mad on supplement, supplements and stuff, but if you are, if you like taking them regularly, it's got everything in there. Um, obviously you have to pay extra for that, you don't get that with your membership, that goes about saying. Um, what else do they have? They've got, they've got a crash if you're someone with kids, then it's, you know, they've got a crash there, so it, it's a family gym, so they've got something for everyone. Um, like I say, the out, outdoor heated pool, I've not been in there yet, um, but you know, that sounds pretty cool, so I'll check that out at some point this week. But I think overall, um, Whatever type of training you do, David Lloyd is a good gym. If you're doing heavier training, a lot of deadlifts and that, they've got more than enough plates in there for you. They go up to about 50, I think they go up to 50k. So that's, for most people, that's that's very heavy. I mean, for like 9.5 out of 10 people, that's really heavy. You have to be a bit of a beast to go 50k, however. Uh, but people do, some big dudes in there. But it's this type of gym for all, all, all types of people. Uh, they've got a punch bag in there. Slight criticism, maybe try and have two or three punch bags in there. Um, they've got suspension. They've got TRXs in there, uh, so you can do suspen suspension training. Kettlebells. They've got a, a lot of kettlebells in there downstairs where you can warm up. They've got um, they've got kettlebells down there. They go up to 24k, which again, I think 24k is nice and heavy. That's good if you're a bigger guy doing swings. 24k is decent. Um, and farmers holds as well. You've got plenty of kettlebells to do farmers holds with as well. And your farmers walks. Um, I think I think that's enough on David Lloyd. But those are the things people usually look for. Opening hours are decent. Price is very expensive. Be wary of that. But I think it's value for money. For me, you might be different. Um, and whatever type of training you're doing, it's it's a decent workout. Like I say, maybe have a couple more punch bags in there. Um, if you go in there, take your own gloves. I use their gloves. It's, it's a schoolboy mistake I keep making. I use their gloves and I cut my hand slightly. Uh, you can't see it now, but at the time it was bleeding. and uh, I look like something from a war movie, isn't it? Because I'm obviously such a tough guy, I just shrugged it off. Um, but yeah, you know, more punch bags maybe. Especially with the boom in MMA and stuff like that, combat sports, more people are getting interested in that. More people are interested in looking more athletic, more like a UFC fighter um, rather than a massive bodybuilder. Um, changing rooms are really nice, the facilities in there are really nice, the shower facilities. Um, lockers, you just need a padlock for that. You don't get a free towel when you go in, which I know is a really pussy ass thing to mention. But I thought for a 90 quid membership you would. Um, I don't think there's a meditation area, but I'd like to see gyms, because people have become more aware about stuff like meditation, I'd like to see gyms having a little room that you can go meditate in. Um, and again, that makes me sound like a bit of a hipster or whatever, but you know, I like I like meditating. So, you know, I think that'd be good. Um, yeah, we'll leave it there, but that's just my thoughts. Just a freestyle video on David Lloyd, okay? Like I said, I don't start paying until January 2015. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. And, you know, if you have a nice hard workout, there are bonuses there, like a jacuzzi or whatever, which, which I think is nice. Steam room and sauna as well. Um, if you have any more questions about my training there at the moment, how I find it, anything I haven't mentioned in this video, because I imagine there is something, 
then um, send me a message and I'll just have a quick chat with you. But otherwise, peace out. Uh, enjoy Halloween. I've got my prisoner, orange prisoner overalls, handcuffs. I've got a hockey mask as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cliched, I know, but, like, yeah. It's all good. And um, speaking of Halloween, if you want a good horror movie to watch, watch Zombievers. It's, um... It's a really intricate plot. It, it isn't all, it's just a fucking no-brain horror movie, but I love this shit. It's just beavers get, they drink toxic waste or something and they become massive and they, they eat everyone. There's a bit, a really brutal bit in there where some dude gets his dick bitten off. Um, <laughs> awful. Anyway, yeah, check some beavers out. It's really cheap in HMV as well. But before this descends into a, what B movies have I been occupying my spare time with, I'll turn the camera off and you can get on with whatever the fuck it was you were doing before. Um, have a nice weekend. Yeah, take it easy.